Good morning. It's a lousy day in South London. It's a uh, mm, fine mm, rain, cold. But what to be expecting? Darkest February. Right here we are. We're going to paint a bit of a coastal scene here. A uh, bit of distance. I remember years, or oh, as a boy, had the, having holidays at Felixstowe on the Suffolk coast, and we'd go to. Uh, and it's, well, it's it's sort of bordered by a couple of rivers, the Deben and the, uh, 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 and the Orwell. Uh, I think that's right. And the Deben, uh, we we would go there for 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 days and sit on the beach, and and you could see the other side of the. It was sort of an estuary, large estu estuary. All oh, very sandy. But I, I'm just going to make something up that's pretty similar, pretty simple bit of painting, really. So here we are. We've got the, the tray. We've got the lemon, the no, not lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, burnt sienna. I won't use them all. This is the the Ron Ransom Pro Art Hake, 45 inch mill. 45 million millimetres wide, it's, a, it's the large one there to make anyway. He collaborated with Pro Art in the, in the construction of this thing. It's a Japanese style brush. Uh, does a lot of things. I know some of you still persevere with your little brushes. Especially if you're a beginner, you, you won't believe what this brush can do when you get used to it. But it does take a lot of getting used to. You don't learn learn to use it in five minutes, so be prepared. It holds a lot of water to trap the unwary. Oops. Right, I'll put a bit of a, a wash. My Some of my paints are a little bit uh, fresh out of the tube, but they were last night. So I just want a bit of a bit of a warm. Okay, now I like doing my sky, I like cloudy skies, plenty of light. So, ultramarine. These trays are food display trays, they're, they're, they're very, very good quality and they're very cheap. They last forever. I bought a pack of two of these oh, three or four years ago now. Right, here we are. So, let's get that nice bit of colour in there. Remember that the uh, colour dries much lighter than you put it on so you've got to, to bear that in mind. So let's have a bit of, while the paint's like this you can sort of do all sorts of things with it. I'm just going to put that in the in the sea and this bit of uh, estuary there. Right, now what happens with the blue and the red is that when it starts to dry it, 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 it separates and you get lovely, a lovely sort of granular separation. So let's just put a little bit further down, just a light, a bit of light cloud coming over the horizon there. Okay, now I'll, I'll restretch the paper. This is Fabriana, 130 pounds. It comes in blocks of 100. Inexpensive for what it is. See what's happening to the paint. Now, some people don't like that, but I love it. I exploit it. Roland Hilda was a great one for it. And, and the same would happen with Burnt Umber and, and the, the Ultramarine. Uh, but the the, the 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 bit of red gives it a bit of bit of warmth. Look, you see, it's just sort of coming down here. Um, it, I used to demonstrate a, a sort of vertical, but the paper, the, the, the water just ran off the paper, and it was very difficult. But this is a much better angle. It's about it's probably less than thirty degrees, between twenty five and thirty degrees. It's an ideal situation, but if I wasn't videoing, I would probably have the board propped up 
and I would change the, I would change the angle so that I could get the, the paint as it came down the wet paper to go in different directions. And of course, if you if you don't want it to repeat anymore, you could just use the old hair dryer. So take your headphones off right now. Right, just a little, a little bit of a dry. I want some diffusion on the uh, distance, so just those colours. Let's just get the uh, these hills in. There are no mountains in this bit of painting, but I want to get my horizon horizontal. Right, well, more or less. So it's got a little bit darker there, I think. I can always clean this up afterwards. So these are sort of trees over here. So let's put in look, just a bit too much water on the brush. So I'll just take that out. What I'll do, I don't want that to to bleed into the water. There, you wouldn't see any reflections. This is sea water. Now let's just blot it. Right, okay, that do we can go back into that now. We can put in some bit of bit of yellow, bit of umber, just a bit of let's just put in some drop in some colour on that. We'll just add some variety in that, not a lot because it's distant, but, uh, but enough just to give up the variety. And I think I'm, I'm still struggling to know what, how to mix my greens with the cadmium yellow. It was easy with the lemon yellow, but I got used to it. All right, I need some much darker there. That's just that's better. This all dries lighter, as I say. Bit of bit of umber and a bit of bit of blue. Just using a little bit of the brush that's broken away from the main body. You get so many brushes in one with this, with the hake. When it does split too much, if you don't like it, just wet it a little bit and, and bring it together on the on the tray. Okay, see so that so we got if we want to put in some some yachts. We can lift it out a little bit. Right. Let's. Now we we need a focal point here, so that's going to, it's going to be uh, some boats. So that we want that bit darker there. Okay. Now we're more or less horizontal. Uh, Here. Right, okay, that'll do. I'll just reclip the paper and then we'll have a go at the uh, foreground. 
well actually no, we'll just do a bit of dry brush I think. A bit of dry brush on, on that. Now the paper is fully flat. Not a fuck in my mouth. Okay, it's a clean brush. So we want that uh, the the sky colour with a little bit of yellow to it. We want the brush fairly dry for this. This is a dry brush. So that, just a little bit greeny, bluey. Um, Okay, that, that'll do. We'll, we'll put a bit of darker sky colour in there to make it look a, more reflective. Right, okay. Dry that and we're going with the, with the banks. So burnt umber is always a good, good sort of sand colour, but bit of, bit of sienna. Right, just a little bit of bit of sienna. Uh, sienna and umber in, in the sandy bit here. Okay, let's... Uh, bit of blue. Right, well that's the start of that one. And we're going to go not so, mm, not so high on that one. We don't want them exactly the same. So, could put some uh, grasses in there. Right now, nice. Dark bits now. I can easily overdo this, but but it's all it's all good fun. Isn't it? Oh, that's where I want to go up higher with the sort of grasses. Okay, that, that's coming on. A bit of dark in there now. The shadow in there. Alright, some dark bits in here. I'm going to put some bit of reflection in, in there. Right, let's have a bit of scraping now. Just a little bit. Mm. 
Right, okay. Uh, not a lot I want to do with this other than a bit of uh, bit of reflection or a bit of this and that. Now I'm in the danger of ruining the, ruining the spontaneity of that. Is that looking? Yeah, that's looking right. Okay, now a bit of, bit of rigor work and we're finished. Oh, and the, and the inevitable birds. Right, uh, rigor. Right now, this is going to be a little bit. So, with my rigor, damp rigor, let's. Uh That's supposed to be a seagull there, lifted out. Right, I'll get um, my little half inch brush, get it nice and damp, squeeze out the excess, and we'll uh, take out I had to put my overhead lights on because it's so dingy and these are just the little nuts now you can criticize my boat because I'm not being a, a land lover I'm not used to being around them so I just sort of make them up but we can you see that I'm not I'm not masking you. Right. Then that probably be be enough there. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do any more to that. I like I like that. It's a bit dark there. And that that's a big lump of burnt umber there. Right. I'm just going to clean that horizon up there a little bit more. See, this is, that's what you can do. You see, if you make a, if you go over, you can carefully go back and blot it out. Just dampen it a little bit. That needs a little bit more white showing there. Okay, that that will do. That's all I'm going to do. Right, uh, if we put it in a mount, and oh, I suppose a bit of sign it. Uh, 
separate from the air. Right, always sign your work even if it's not very good. Sign it because someone will like it sooner or later. Or not, but you can always paint over them with uh, acrylic or something. Uh, right, okay. I do. Can be horizon, horizon. So there we are, we've got a, I think the area that I, if I remember right, is Baldy. It's, it's north of Felix though. It's, ah, it's the, or, the Orwell, yeah, the Orwell, and the, the Orwell is, is the one I think goes, that goes into Ipswich. And the Deben, I can't remember where that goes. But this is just the estuary, sorry about that. Uh, just, I'm trying to get you, get you level. Uh, that's as good as we're going to get. So there we are, just a, uh, a coastal scene. Won't say any more about it than that. That's supposed to be a seagull against the, the white of the wings, against the dark of the cloud. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. I won't zoom in. Bye for now.